Its creation was never part of a grand plan, yet today, it's a beloved icon with a story as compelling as its flavor. In the world of soft drinks, Fanta stands out as a global favorite, but few know its surprising origins. Born out of necessity during World War II, Fanta was an afterthought, a product of wartime scarcity and ingenuity in Nazi Germany. This is the intriguing journey of Fanta, from its accidental inception to its rise as a global phenomenon under the Coca-Cola umbrella. The story of Fanta begins in the early 1940s during World War II, a time when many international trade routes were disrupted, affecting the Coca-Cola company in Germany. Coca-Cola GmbH, the German subsidiary, could no longer import the syrup needed to produce Coca-Cola. Despite Nazi propaganda, which ridiculed American products like Coca-Cola, the beverage remained popular in Nazi Germany. Max Keith, head of Coca-Cola's German operations, faced the challenge of maintaining the business amid wartime restrictions. Cut off from the Atlanta head office and essential supplies, Keith needed a new product to keep the company going. The situation worsened when the Nazis decreed that the government could seize any enemy-owned business. Keith searched for an alternative beverage, but ingredients were scarce. Sinalco, a German non-alcoholic drink brand, had already halted production. Determined to avoid the same fate, Keith created a soda from fruit waste, like apple pulp from cider presses, calling it Fanta. Despite its unusual beginnings, Fanta quickly became popular in Germany. The scarcity of raw materials during the war meant that Fanta had to be versatile. It was used not only as a beverage, but also as a cooking ingredient and even as a sweet syrup for desserts. This adaptability helped cement Fanta's place in German culture during a tumultuous period. This new product saved the business, with sales skyrocketing from 186,000 cases in 1940 to nearly 3 million cases by 1943. With Fanta's success, Keith convinced Nazi authorities to put him in charge of all Coca-Cola operations in occupied Europe, spreading Fanta across the continent and sustaining Coca-Cola branches that lacked syrup. He also protected Coca-Cola employees from the Nazis, including Carl West, the Coca-Cola Belgium boss. To ensure continued production despite British air raids in early 1942, Keith went as far as turning remote barns into factories, allowing Coca-Cola Germany to produce Fanta even with many of their factories having been destroyed. However, Keith's luck ran out in January 1945 as the German army faced relentless pressure from the Allies. A general from the Ministry of Commerce summoned him and ordered him to nationalize the business and cease using the Coca-Cola brand. The general warned that failure to comply would result in Keith being sent to a concentration camp. Terrified, Keith reached out to a kind Ministry of Justice officer, but his request for assistance was turned down. Keith refused to give in and prepared for the worst. Keith and the group were spared when, surprisingly, an Allied bomb struck the Ministry offices and killed the general. Coca-Cola Germany has triumphed over adversity once more. Essen was taken up by the Allies on April 10, 1945, three months later. Hitler killed himself a few weeks later, and Germany gave up. Coca-Cola was to reap the rewards of the war now that it had ended. After the war, Coca-Cola regained control of its operations in Germany, and the production of Coca-Cola resumed. However, Fanta had made such an impact that it continued to be produced and sold. The post-war years saw the recipe of Fanta change, gradually incorporating more conventional ingredients and evolving closer to the fruity soda we recognize today. The 1950s marked a new era for Fanta. Recognizing the potential of this homegrown German product, the Coca-Cola company officially acquired Fanta. This acquisition was a strategic move, allowing Coca-Cola to diversify its product portfolio and appeal to a broader audience. With the global reach and marketing prowess of Coca-Cola, Fanta began its journey towards international fame. One of the critical factors behind Fanta's success has been its innovative and effective marketing strategies. From the beginning, Fanta was positioned as a fun and vibrant alternative to other soft drinks. The bright orange color, catchy jingles, and playful advertising campaigns all contributed to building Fanta's identity as a drink associated with joy and excitement, in the 1970s, Fanta's advertising took a significant leap forward with the introduction of the Fanta Girls.
These commercials featured lively, attractive women enjoying Fanta, and they played a crucial role in establishing the brand's fun and carefree image. The campaigns were a hit, resonating with a young audience and boosting Fanta's popularity. As the decades rolled on, Fanta's reach expanded far beyond Germany. By the 1960s, Fanta was available in many countries, including the United States, where it quickly became a favorite. The brand's versatility allowed it to adapt to various markets, with different flavors and marketing strategies tailored to local tastes and preferences. In Latin America, for example, Fanta became synonymous with tropical fruit flavors like mango and pineapple. In Asia, Fanta introduced unique flavors such as lychee and green apple, catering to regional palates. This ability to innovate and adapt has been a cornerstone of Fanta's global success. Over the years, Fanta has also harnessed the power of nostalgia. The brand's marketing campaigns often evoke a sense of retro charm, reminding consumers of the joy and carefree moments of their youth. This emotional connection has helped Fanta maintain a loyal customer base and attract new generations of fans. In recent years, Fanta has embraced social media and digital marketing, engaging with consumers through interactive campaigns, user-generated content, and viral challenges. This modern approach has kept the brand relevant in an increasingly digital world, ensuring that Fanta remains a beloved choice for soda enthusiasts of all ages. One of the most distinctive features of Fanta is its wide array of flavors. While the classic orange remains a favorite, Fanta's portfolio includes a rainbow of options, from grape and strawberry to more exotic choices like passion fruit and peach. This extensive variety allows Fanta to cater to diverse tastes and preferences, further solidifying its global appeal. The introduction of limited edition flavors and collaborations with popular brands and franchises has also added an element of excitement and exclusivity to Fanta's offerings. These special editions often become highly sought after, creating buzz and driving sales. In recent years, Fanta has also taken steps to address environmental concerns. As part of the Coca-Cola company's broader sustainability initiatives, Fanta has committed to reducing its carbon footprint, improving packaging sustainability, and supporting recycling programs. These efforts reflect a growing awareness of environmental issues and a commitment to making a positive impact. Fanta's influence extends beyond the realm of beverages. The brand has become a cultural icon, appearing in movies, television shows, and music videos. Its vibrant branding and memorable advertising campaigns have made Fanta a recognizable and beloved symbol of fun and enjoyment. In many countries, Fanta has also become associated with local festivals and celebrations. Its colorful bottles and cans are a common sight at parties, picnics, and gatherings, further embedding the brand into the fabric of everyday life. The story of Fanta is a testament to the power of innovation, adaptability, and effective marketing. From its humble beginnings in wartime Germany to its status as a global phenomenon, Fanta has continually evolved and reinvented itself to stay relevant and appealing to consumers around the world. Fanta's journey is marked by key milestones, from its creation out of necessity to its acquisition by Coca-Cola, its innovative marketing strategies, and its expansion into diverse markets. Each chapter of Fanta's history is a reflection of the brand's commitment to bringing joy, creativity, and refreshment to people's lives. As Fanta continues to grow and evolve, it remains a vibrant and dynamic brand, always ready to delight and surprise its fans with new flavors, exciting campaigns, and a steadfast commitment to quality and fun. The story of Fanta is far from over, and its future promises to be as intriguing and fascinating as its past.